Welcome to another travel vlog. Today we're going to the North Island of New Zealand. One of my younger brothers, Dylan, came to visit me in Australia for my study abroad. And while he was here, we decided to go to New Zealand. Neither of us had ever been, and he's a huge fan of all of the Lord of the Rings things too, so it was just perfect timing. Anyways, I'm totally gonna out him, but as soon as we got to the airport, he realized he forgot his passport, so that was me getting a coffee while I waited for him to come and try and hold the plane. <laughs> but we rented a car when we landed in New Zealand, stopped off and stayed the night at this little motel. And then early in the morning, we went to the Hobbiton movie set tours, got the first tour, which actually, if you're going, I would totally recommend doing because there were no other tours in our photos and it was so, so nice. And so we walked around and did that for about two hours. some construction going on for a new exhibition while we were there so they gave us these little mugs as kind of like an apology for the tour so we had these to take home and then after the tour we went to the cafe that they had there got some coffee and some lunch breakfast i don't really know hello we are in new zealand welcome another travel vlog except this time dylan flew from california to visit me in australia he's never been so he spent a few days in sydney with me we got dinner with my friends and then yesterday we flew into auckland got a rental car also my first time driving on the other side of the road and we came to a hobbiton tour this morning we stayed at this like small little motel in the middle of nowhere last night it was actually cute though and we were gonna come in like after hours to check in because it was so late so i called the hotel because i guess they're like check-in no one's just no one's at the thing when it gets late and he was like oh yeah i'll just leave the key in the door for you and i was like oh is it safe and he was like yeah we've never had a problem with that and i guess it's just because we're not in america so we are here for like five days four nights now we're gonna drive to lake taupo we have a place there and then tomorrow we're gonna go do the shorter lord of the rings hike because dylan used to love lord of the rings when he was little yeah. and the hobbit so big trip but there's like a really long 12 mile hike that they actually do in the movie and we're just not built for that so new zealand is so pretty if you saw my tasmania vlog before this was a little bit chaotic i feel like if we had a car in tasmania it would have been a much different trip to lake taupo After a couple hours of driving, we made it to our little shallots. I don't know what they were, but they were so cute. I just found them online. They were super cheap. It was kind of in the middle of nowhere, but off of Lake Taupo, and it was by this trailer park and this little boat dock. So we walked around and explored. We went to a little grocery store to pick up some snacks for the rest of the trip. And then we pulled off onto the side of the road because there was this really gorgeous little river and stream under a bridge. And so we just went and walked around there for a little bit. Also, there were no food places open ever so ended up having to go to this random pizza place got this pizza god forbid i don't know why i got corn on it i really can't even recommend it and then there was this little hike right behind the motel that we were staying at so we walked to the top and saw these amazing views like a little baby actually with my hair tied back we are gonna go drive now to do like the shorter lord of the rings hike also they have fruise balls here in the grocery stores but in these big containers and if you've ever seen them they sell them at trader joe's or like in little bags and they're a little bit pricey like not super pricey but i, I can't justify it and they had them on clearance these massive things so i got two things of them thank you new zealand ciao to our little lakeside place 
When we finally made it to the hike, we saw some people who were doing a four day hike passing us by and I was like, girl, that we are just not the same. Anyways, we went and did the whole falls track. This one was good. It only took about two hours for us and we saw so many beautiful streams and views and mountains. It was insane. Just finished the hike, my literal pajama hike outfit. Finally just made it to where we're staying tonight. It's a little motel, motor in. Stunning little motel. Like you walk in and this is literally the view. We have two beds. I took the twin bed the other night so Dylan gets a tiny bed now. But look how pretty it is like just off the side of the highway but it's so nice we are gonna do the glowworm cave tours tomorrow so i booked this place because it was cheap and it was really close to where the tours are for the cave because we have one of those booked tomorrow long day lots of driving and walking so we're driving again because i also i haven't driven a car before this since july when i was in california and now i'm just we're doing like, we've probably driven like four hours today, which I guess isn't that bad, but very road trip core trip. <laughs> Continuing on with the theme of everything being closed, we were at this motel in the middle of nowhere and every single shop was closed. So we ended up just going to their restaurant and we were the only ones there. Day three was the glowworm caves. This was probably my favorite day next to the Hobbiton tours. We walked down this little mountain in the rain. We saw this eel in the river. We got to wear these little helmets and we saw the glowworms. It was so hard to vlog, so I kind of gave up, but you can kind of see them here. It felt like being on a Disney ride, except in real life. It was one of the most insane things I've ever seen. So cool and crazy that I got to experience that. And the tour we booked, they also stopped in the middle of our little rainy day and we got to have tea and biscuits and then we did another cave trail hike. After our glowworm tours, we stopped off at this cafe called Fat Kiwi Cafe. It was actually so good and so cute. Would totally recommend if you go to the glowworm caves to just stop by. But we went there to get some food before our drive to Auckland. That was our last bit of our road trip. So we stayed in this little hotel, the first non-motel that we stayed in for the trip, but saving money. So you do what you gotta do. They had a gym. So I actually went for a little bit because I'd been sitting in the car all day. And then I came back showered and Dylan found this little dumpling house we went to. It was so good. I got these pork garlic dumplings and oh, amazing. our last day in New Zealand. We check out at 10 a.m. so we're gonna leave soon and go to this little cafe that I found nearby. I don't know, I just Google searched it. It's called Remedy Coffee. What you don't know right now is I feel like half blind because yesterday I was taking off my makeup or just like using a, a towel on my face and then I don't know if I got makeup in my eye or I scratched my eye but it hurt so bad and I tried rinsing it out a bunch and then I like slept on it and it's still a little foggy. It's still a little blurry. <laughs> Fit check today. Very simple. I actually thrifted this top when I went to Melbourne with Bella, Mariah, and Emma. It has Australia on the tag, so my secret souvenir. Dylan said there's a Sanrio store here, so we are gonna go to Sanrio probably after breakfast. Flight leaves around like 6 p.m. ish, and then we'll be back in Sydney tonight. About to go, but 
New Zealand has been so fun, such a beautiful place. I didn't end up vlogging as much in Auckland, but we went to Remedy Coffee. I got their famous chia seed pudding. It was so good. We went to the Sanrio store and I got myself a little bag. And then I also bought some Christmas presents for my family. And we just ended up walking around. It was raining again all day. We stopped off at the food court. I got this Taiwanese fried chicken, but it was like plum seasoning on it. And it was actually so good. And then we dropped off the rental car and made it on our flight, came back to Sydney and Dylan got to spend a few more days here before he went back home to California. New Zealand was so, so magical. Mm -hmm.